Hello and welcome to the Halo Forge Epidemic. This is Oakley Hadef and I'm here to bring you a really cool thing that I came up with. And this has to do with the station core that's only available on impact and it deals with the fact that it can revolve. So these are going to be revolving mechanisms. Um, so let's get started. I s put them together and use the, uh, the revolving effect to come up with some cool things. So what you'll see in this video at least, and we'll probably come up with some more ideas in the future, um, but what you'll see in this one at least is a moving walkway a type of escalator over there and then over here some revolving doors um, so let's get started I'll give you an example of how each of them works and then we'll go ahead and pick them apart so let's take a look at the moving walkway so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down a decorative piece or sorry a scenery piece something movable just to show that it does move objects so why not put a crate large so we're gonna take this we're just gonna plop it down right here and as you can tell, the rotating bars are sticking up just high enough to grab it. And um, one of my roommates actually helped me coordinate this such that the um, revolving pieces are all in sync so that this moves more optimally. Before, when they were all in sync, um, this would wait, whereas when they're synchronized like this, this one can hand it off to that one, and it's much more efficient in terms of transporting it. Um, so that's really cool. And it also works if you're on foot. Um, so you can move up here stand still and then these things will come up grab you and push you forward so this is a really cool moving walkway the more you put the faster it'll go and there's a lot of cool stuff you can do for that uh, for mini games or moving stationary objects and all types of stuff like that the next one over here is going to be the escalator so again you know the same revolving concept but this time it's moving vertically so i'm going to go into first person and i'm going to move up here so you stand up against this and then it's going to pick you up and this is going to start revolving and dropping you up here uh, again, we've synchronized the station cores such that when this one disappears, the next one is ready to move you up. And there you go, you're at the top. So this has a lot of different uses. You could keep this going higher and higher. Um, it doesn't have to be just, you know, this might be jumpable. Um, you can make it go way higher. So this is just a, a prototype. And then the last one that I'm going to show you is actually really cool. So this is a revolving door concept. Um, and what's really neat about this is it makes a one-way door. So I'll show you how that works. So basically we put three cores on the inside, sync them together such that each of their arms, these things here, are touching together making it larger. So you only have one opportunity to come through, so you squeeze in here between the arms, and then this will push you right through the gap. Now the cool thing about this is it's a one-way um, ticket. It'll push you this way, and the second you try and go through, there's not enough room to squeeze through. So there you go. We've managed to create a one-way revolving door, and obviously you can't go back through that way. So this is a really cool concept. I'm sure it'll have lots of cool uses in mini games and different uh, theaters. Uh, over here you can see what happens when you just put one revolving. Um, you do have this revolving door concept, but um, because of the fact that there's only one, you should be able to sneak by. Um, so this would be sort of a two-way. So I can go through here. And yeah, just barely make it through. So if you want it to be one way, you're going to want to put multiple ones. But let's go ahead and dissect this. So I'm going to go ahead and actually grab the station core over here and kind of show you the principle of how this works. So what you want to do is make sure they're all lined up together. Then you put them together like this. And you can see the one that's yellow, is uh, it's highlighted. You can see what's going on. So to get them in sync, you're going to copy and paste a bunch of these, put them together. Um, and then what you can do is actually when you grab them, every time you grab it, uh, take a look at the arms. They switch position. So keep doing that until they have the rotation um, frequency that you want. Uh, so you keep adjusting it until you get the right frequency that you want. So that's basically how this works. We had a whole bunch of them lined up. Put a floor just at the level where the arms are coming up. And then we put a walkway here and a walkway here. And then just a wall on the back. So that was a relatively simple concept. Over here... Um, I'll go ahead and delete these. What we did is we stacked a couple of them sort of going diagonally, so we just needed three. And that way they lift you up. And as a sort of a back support so you don't fall through, what we did is we had one of these ramps here that we actually put on the inside just like this so that you had some support and you weren't going to fall through the whole piece. Um, so that's basically how that works. Simple enough. Uh, I mean, these objects are semi-expensive, but, you know, the effect that you get is really cool and uh, really novel. Then over here we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this. I'll go ahead and take the top off just so you can see what's going on and also the sides. So here we put three of them together just so they have a wider sort of rotating door here. 
then you want to make sure that you use a teleporter frame or something like this to restrict the entrance. And then so that players don't squeeze by, you're going to need a central divide just like this. Um, and then you're going to need that block that I had here to keep players from going all the way around. Unless, of course, you do want this to be sort of a two-way revolving door where you could end up, you know, coming in that way and then coming back out this way. Um, you just have to time yourself. So, you know, both of these are effects that you could try and exploit in your maps. I see a lot of potential for this in mini games or in, like, some sort of hotel recreation or all sorts of stuff like that. It has a lot of cool uses that changes up gameplay. So thanks guys, this has been Oakley High Def. I hope you like these ideas. Make sure to subscribe to the Halo Forge Epidem Epidemic if you have not already. We're a community that does a lot of Forge tutorials. We have a bunch of Forgers on staff. And, you know, we do map features as well. And if you have your very own idea, check the link below. Um, and that's going to be the link to 343communityindustries.org where we have submission threads where you can post your ideas. We'll peruse that, and if you have any good ideas, we'll go ahead and take a look at them and maybe feature them. So guys, don't forget you can submit your maps. We're always looking to feature stuff made by the community. So this has been Oakley Hideup with the Halo Forge Epidemic, and I'm signing out. Thank you.